just coming into the part of Zeebrugge. We leave the ferry onto a bus and a 20 minute bus ride into the centre of Bruges. Alright, this one is San John. Quite nice when the rain stops. This is the main square. Berg Square, is it, Pete? Oh, yeah. And this is where the Christmas market is. Oh, it's nice. It'd look better at night time, won't it? Quite a big Christmas market, that Pete. It's all in there as well. Can you take a look if you want? I don't think it's open yet. Definitely come back here at night time, but this looks really nice. So, yeah, we'll definitely head back here at night time because I bet that looks gorgeous at night. Looks nice now. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, later. So, where we are at the Historian Brews. Experience the golden age of Bruges. And the most important thing, it has toilets. Say how much? No. Nope. I guarantee it won't be free. Oh yay, oh yay, dear visitors! You are about to travel back in time to Bruges! in the Middle Ages. So, as you can see, we've got a headset on. It says we're gonna go through seven ages of Bruges. What did you think to it though, Different? Yeah, different. Because you normally got like uh, things you can see and you know, like video. Yeah, you can't yeah. really do pictures or video, can you? Right, time to take some pictures. The price of chocolate, so that reindeer is four euros twenty-five. The um, Historian Bruges was just up there, we walked straight down this road and there's the torture museum. It's just a little thing, so it's a crossroad from chocolate and happiness. So let's go in. Wait for the traffic. Oh, downstairs. That's a good entrance. Yeah. Oh, these are farmer. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. Look at that one, Pete. On your chin and your neck. Have to keep your neck up. Yeah. It looks in pain, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> A picture of him there with that in. <laughs> the description, intestine crank. It was designed for introducing into the stomach, winding it up and removing the entrails of a human being. Okay. Oh, so you're pulling out all his like, oh, entrails and that. Uh, assigned as an execution for those caught in homosexuality. Oh my god, so they tore out all the intestines and oh, just winded it up until it pulled it all out. Oh, fucking <laughs> I think that's it. 
a little poop, but it's all right. Yeah. Seven pound, was it? Eight euro, seven pound? It's that seven quid. Yeah. yeah. Not too bad. I must say I've not been in anything like this before, so it's good to see it. Let's head on to something else. That's a nice building, is it, P? Yeah, Very nice, that. Because light on the camera. Another market. Okay, so we've walked in that big building, what we saw outside, and it is, what is it, the Museum Stadius, and it is on our list to do. So, we're gonna see how much the tickets are, I'm going. I've just got a little view of it, Pete. You oh, go first, you see oh. it? That looks amazing, look at that. All right, let's go in. Gothic Hall, it's called. Oh, go on. Wow. Let's see the side. That looks amazing, doesn't it, Pete? Yeah. It's got names on it. Bloody hell. I can't read it, but it's obviously a register. 1493. Jesus. 1493. Again, just next to that book is more. Look at that. 1493 to 1512, that book. So that's all you're getting here for four euros, but I've got to tell you, that's about three pound English. That's worth it, isn't it, Pete? To see that and this for like three quid. <laughs> Very good. So we've decided we've got an hour till the hotel, so we're going to pop for some dinner. And we want to try and eat local cuisine. So we've just been on TripAdvisor and looked for a mid-range, cheap-range eatery. We ain't your expensive meal, guys. So we're going to head to one and have something to eat. Yeah. Called Chez Vincent, I think it was. If there's enough room for us. It's out of the way of this square, so it ain't going to be a rip-off. Let's go. Should be down here somewhere. I'll see you when we get there. This is where we are. Chez Vincent burgers and that, but we're gonna look for some. Let's have a look at the menu. What's on it? Oh, it's not the bad. Traditional dishes, there you go, Pete. All down there. So yeah, let's go in and have a look and see what there is. On there, Pete. I think I'm off to have croquet with shim shrimps. So what you got, Pete? You got two croquettes with cheese, one with meat and chips, and I got the croquette with cheese and a shrimp one. So this is a shrimp one. Let's have a. Mm. So, mm. I like it, but it's not what I expected. As you can see, it's got like a paste in it. Mm. Let's have a look at that one, Pete. What's that? Well, oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? And this is the cheese one. Try that one, Pete, the long one. Oh, wow, that's all. That's the same thing, it's like mushed up, isn't it? Same as my prawn one. Right. All right, right, we're we'll gonna have dinner. You can hardly see what was left of mine. Just in case you're wondering on the prices. That was mine. Nine euros twenty. And that was Pete's. 
14 euros. I got some mayonnaise, that cost me an extra 90 cents, so you can say that was 10 euros, mine. Not too bad, what, nine quid? And about 12 pound 50, 13 quid for pizza. Is it nice? And cheese ones are nice, are they? The Carros Hotel, but it's called the Floris. On our book, on booking.com, it's called the Floris Hotel. But when you search it up on TripAdvisor, and that is called the Floris Carros Hotel. Basically, left at that big building is where all the centre is, so we're about five minutes outside of it. So we'll go see if they'll give us our room, or at least take our bags in for an hour or two. The Christmas tree. There's a reception. Yeah, we've not got in the room. Three o'clock, it's half past one, so we're going to head to, what is it? Donkey's Gate? Yeah. Which is like a picture place, so we're going to head there now. So let's head there, about a ten minute walk. Yeah, we think it's just up here. What the fuck is this? No idea. He's having a good time. Yeah. That's don't think Yeah, it looks nice. Time to get a few pictures. Not hundred percent, but I think it used to be like a the far entrance to the city. Yeah. Looks really nice though with the blue background. Okay, so just to show you where this is, that's the map of Bruges. That's where we are. Our hotel's down here somewhere. And then the centre's all there. So we're just walking about till we can go in our hotel in five or ten minutes and we've come across another one of these gates. Ross Hotel. The gym. <laughs> Looks alright, isn't it? Swimming pool. I'll tell you what, go in there, it's nice and warm in there. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> right. Go on then, Pete. 138. Swimming pool open till 10 tonight. So we're in 138. So again, it's a two double beds in it. It's a bathroom. Because <laughs> <laughs> the door won't shut. Look <laughs> at that toilet's little Pete. How are you going to sit on that? How are you going to sit on that? It's like for kids, is it? How are you going to sit on that? It's right next to the wall. Oh well. Two beds, what is this? Nothing. And that, that must be a room next door. Closet. Closet, two double beds. Flat screen. Oh, they're single beds actually. Right, we've checked in the hotel and we're now heading out to go to the top of the belfry. I think that's it, isn't it Pete? That's where we're heading over there. I'm gonna to go to the top of there. You see it just about there. Apparently it's one of the um, top three things to do here. That's where we're heading. It's half past three, so hopefully you'll be able to see some stuff lit up. So we're coming back out onto the main square. This is where we was first thing, there's the belfry to the right. Can you actually see anybody up there, Pete? How far up the top do you go? Not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. So you're probably watching this now and you know where you go. Me and Pete are not sure how how high you can actually walk up there. So we'll go see what time it shuts because we're not sure. Then we'll decide what order we're gonna do stuff in, eh? So we're going to head back to the belfry after we've done this other one first. 
as we've got plenty of time. This is where we was just literally two hours ago. Oh, and um, the market's gone. <laughs> that must just be a food market, Pete. Because it was, wasn't it? That was just food, wasn't it? Yeah, that must just be a food market. So that's where we was earlier with that amazing hallway. Um, Gothic, Gothic, it wasn't a church, was it? Gothic room. And this is where we tried to go, but it was shut. In that corner, that's where we're heading now. A fantastic view. Gotta say, there's some absolutely gorgeous buildings in Belgium. Well, in Bruges. Look at that. Stunning. Okay, so this is where we're heading now. Before the belfry, the bell tower thing. This is where we was going to come earlier, but it was shut. Has it got the name of it on it, Pete? Because I can't remember the name of it, can you? There's something, the blood. Basilica of the Holy Blood, that's it. So this is the Basilica of the Holy Blood. As far as I'm aware, it contains like something with Christ, meant to be with Christ's blood on it, Pete. I'll have to video in there, but where that priest is sat in the little box, what you see is um, a little piece of cloth that's meant to have a piece of Jesus' blood on it. I will put more in the description box below because it's just amazing. Everything's just amazing. So look in the description box below for more information. Nice, isn't it, Pete? Look at that. Like a stand. Yeah, so that's basically what it was. And it's got some Christ's blood on it. Good dog, Pete. Oh, it was free as well. Free entry. Okay, we're going to head up there now. Top of that belfry. We've just been in the Basilica of the Blood there. Had a walk over here. So that's where we're going. There's one thing left to do today. And let's go to the top. Over there. You ready? 10 euros. Yeah. So, Lots of steps. <laughs> nah, I'm off to take the lift. I'm off to tell the man um, <laughs> I'm fat. See if I can take the lift. That's the way. Right, I'll see you at the top, Pete. Oh my God. Here we go. Let's go. That was hard work. How many steps do you think it was, Pete? I know. You can call them on the way back. Yeah. I'll put it in the description below how many steps it was. Ah, that's where... Um, that's where the Gothic um, room was we was in. That's where the market was. We see that Christmas tree. There was a market there this morning, wasn't there? Great views of the city. There's not many tall buildings really, is there? You can see the main square bit down there. <clears throat> and 
this bit. See a bit of the Christmas market there, can't you? Yeah, Just a little bit. That's where the ferry goes to all the way there. Yeah. Oh, the only high building I see. The only I can see rain, Pete. I've just seen it on the camera. You see it coming over? Yeah. Come and look in this. It's coming soon. Come here, Pete. Come and look in that. You see it? Yeah, the I see it. The grey cloud yeah. coming over. Oh my god. That's it's coming, coming over, way, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Twelve o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. They're the names of the. When you hear the bell, that's what it's playing, the tune. Must be a different one. Yeah. It's only five in it. I have four. Yeah, so the one at six will be playing that one. Yep, so that's it. Have a quick look up there, the bells. Walk back down, Pete. Oh yeah. Go on then. See you at the bottom. So we've done it. 366 steps to the top. And then 366 steps back down. Good. We always oh, seem good, to do. The rest is just paintings. Yeah, we always seem to do something like that, don't we? Everywhere we visit. So me and Pete's just seen that as we're wondering about boat cruises. So we go and have a look. So there's your ticket. We've either been. Yeah. We've either been lucky yeah. or we've been stupid and it's going to start raining in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two. Right, let's go on a boat cruise. Hi mate. Okay, so we're on board. Like I said, it... we did see that rain coming over, but <laughs> hopefully it do not come over for another half hour. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't believe we got on this. <laughs> Crazy how much we've done today. Yeah, I know. On the left hand side, there we can see the old Tutanus Guild House. At the time, they used to make another spins here into something. In front of us, uh, there is now the 122 meter tower of Our Lady Church. Good. So that's the tour, Canal Tour in Bruges. Done. Very good. Well worth eight euros. So we've just come off the canal cruise. It was the last cruise of the day. Perfect timing, wasn't it? Absolutely perfect timing. Yeah. That is well worth eight euros. That's really good, especially at that time when it's dark. Let's have a hot chocolate then. I'll have one as well, I think. So here's hot chocolate. You get your hot milk. Show them what you've got, Pete. And you get your chocolate on the it's stick. Melting down here. Lift mine up. Lift mine up. No, my chocolate. And on mine's got milk chocolate. And it melts into the milk. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. And creates your hot chocolate. <laughs> 3 95 Well, four euros, eh? Right. 
just what we need just to let you know we've timed it perfect let me just zoom in I can't actually feel it yet but you see all that rain coming over it's not it actually it is yeah has it Pete but it's coming over there it is it looks like snow to me so yeah good job we're not on the uh, boat right let's hit this Christmas market then I'll see you when we get to the entrance and we'll have a look around the Christmas market well it's on scampi what's that oh frankfurters chocolate toffee apples what are these Fried banana. Fried banana or fried apple. And that's it, really. That's your Christmas markets in Bruges. Yep. The two things. Yeah. What we're going to do now is have a walk around and find somewhere for some food. Okay, so we've walked way out the town centre looking for local food. We've come to a row of restaurants. We've had a look at them all, we're going to go in these ones. I don't know what it's called, but it's below the Lace Hotel. El Brasier, something, Brasier? Yeah. So, we'll go in here, eh, Pete? See what we can have. See if we can get some local food. So this is for Tosh, who comments on all my videos, a big supporter. Pete, what you're actually looking at is comments, aren't you? Let's have a look. Yeah. To see. Look, he's actually looking at your comments, mate, to see. <laughs> to see what you have, you've recommended for him and he's looking through the menu to see if he can find it Right, Tosh, you've put on the steak tartare, raw beef, super popular but I bet you skip it Pete, what are you having? Yeah, I'll take it Ah, Pete's gonna have it, Tosh, there you go Right, I need to choose something now Let's have a look Pete, they didn't have that steak tartare, did they? Yeah, it's not Not on the menu, so we did yeah. try So I have ordered the stew, what you recommended me and Pete has ordered the chicken stew. Yeah. I've ordered the beef one, and Pete's ordered the chicken one. Yeah. So See we the did. Yeah. We did try for the steak one, but one didn't have it with the steak yeah. tartare. So we've still gone for the other stuff. We'll show you when it gets here. Local food. So, enjoy. It. Thank you. And Pete's gone for a cherry beer. Cherry beer. Let's see what it's like. Mm. Nice. Your chicken stew. Let's have a look at it first. What's that in the middle? Chicken. Yeah. Oh, wow. Then we've got fries. This is mine. I haven't even had a look yet. Oh wow. And I've got that on the side as well. I don't know. What... I think that might be like dumplings or something. Dad. So there's my beef. Try it if you want. Yeah, it's alright, you sir. Sweet. I don't know, it's from food. I'll drink to this. Try and use that. Sauce. Yeah. Let's try the sauce. They're nice. Yeah. Alright then. Let's stuck in. So we've got beef stew with whatever that is, fries. And Pete looks really nice. It's quick, is it nice? Right, I'm gonna try them now and I'll see you in a bit. All I've got to say, Tosh mate, is thank you very much. That is amazing. What's yours like? Nice. I've tried his sauce, it's stunning. A fantastic meal this, fantastic. By the way, just a final note, that is apple, apple sauce. Apple sauce? Yeah, I don't like apple sauce, so I'll leave that to the side unless you want it, Pete. Right, let me go. The beef in this dish is amazing. So soft. Still loads of beef left, and I've had loads. <laughs> Nothing left. Nothing left. Pete, good. I've got to say, that's one of the best meals I've ever had. Tosh, big thumbs up to you, mate. That is absolutely stunning. And I mean that, absolutely stunning. You really enjoyed it. Yeah. We had some really good food there. Really good. We're on our way back to the hotel now, so that's the end of day one. 
What a fantastic day. Um, I can't believe how much we've done, to be honest. I cannot believe how much we've done today. Yeah. Everything on my list we've done. So we're going back now. We're going to get on the Wi-Fi and find some stuff to do tomorrow before we head back. Uh, I'm going to film when we get back on the ferry because it's a different ferry than what we usually have. And we've got food on the way home. So I'm going to show you the buffet on a P&L ferry. So yeah, you had a good day? Yeah, oh yeah. It's been brilliant, hasn't it? Everything. Yeah, it's been brilliant. We're going to head back to the warm. The rain wasn't that bad, actually, when we got here, but apart from that, it's been all right. So I'll see you all tomorrow for day two. You know what to do with the shit, thumbs up and all that crap. And I'll see you all tomorrow from Bruges. So from a boiling hot Bruges, it is. Bye. <laughs> yeah. See you, everyone. <laughs>